Hello everybody, it's me again, Kyra. And for today's video, ang pag-usapan naman natin is about how you can find a job here in Singapore. Just a disclaimer din guys, itong mga isa-share ko na information is purely based on my experience, uh, based o sa mga narinig ko, sa mga nababasa ko. So I'm not really saying for you to really follow this uh, steps or this um, strategies that I'll be sharing, it depends kung anong makukuha yung information. At least may maitulong ako sa inyo how you can find a job here in Singapore. If you're interested to know more about how you can find a job here in Singapore, just keep on watching. Okay, so maybe bago tayo, bago natin i-discuss how you can find a job here in Singapore, tanongin ko muna kayo why you wanted to work here in Singapore. Bakit Singapore? I mean, there are a lot of different countries like Australia, Canada, and other countries na pwede niyong pag -workan. Pero bakit Singapore? Bakit? <laughs> I think one reason why Filipinos wanted to work here in Singapore is because malapit siya sa Philippines. It's about three hours and a half travel time via airplane compared to if you are going to work maybe in Australia or Canada which will take you more than three hours sa travel time just to go back to Philippines. So Singapore is malapit lang talaga to Philippines and at the same time in terms of the salary malaki talaga yung kikitain nyo compared to working in the Philippines. That's why uh, marami talaga ang Filipinos aspiring to work here in Singapore. Aside from malapit, malaki pa yung kikitain nila. So, it's just like traveling to maybe Baguio. <laughs> Kaya, di ba? Parang nag-travel ka lang pa provincia. Province. Pro parang nag-travel ka lang to province. So just to quickly share then, ang mga types of visa natin dito ng Filipinos here in Singapore for work is the first one is IPAS. So it's more likely for mga managers and executives. And then the next one is yung SPAS. SPAS is more for the skilled workers. And then the last one is the work pass. If you also want to know more details about this type of work pass, you can visit the MOM website. So yun yung parang pinaka dole natin in Philippines. So dun mas maram marami kayong matututunan don, marami kayong mababasang information about it. And pwede nyo rin dun i-check sa website na yon yung eligibility nyo for getting a work here in Singapore. So you can also assess based on your current experience or your profession, matcha-check nyo rin yun if you're eligible to work here in Singapore. Okay, ang dami kong chika. <laughs> ang dami kong chika. So, let's go na. Go, go, go. Chika, ang dami kong sinishare sa inyo. Pero, now let's go and dive into how you can really find a job here in Singapore. May dalawang ways yan. It's either you apply direct and the second one is via agency. But in terms of the direct, madaming mga sanga-sanga yan. <laughs> in terms of agency, madami ding tayong mga options for agency. So first one, discuss natin is um, applying directly here in Singapore. If you are to apply um, directly here in Singapore, like directly from the company itself, the first one is when you are still in the Philippines. If you're still in the Philippines, you can apply through a lot to a series of job sites uh, while you're still in the Philippines. Bago kayo pumunta siguro dito, you can apply ahead, maybe a month or two months ahead. Bago kayo pumunta dito, you can, you can apply on those sites. So, usually for mga initial interviews, they do it via Zoom or via video call. Yun lang naman yung... Um, 
for the initial interview. But if let's say you pass the initial interview, they wanted a second interview with the manager, then definitely you need to come here in Singapore to do the interview. But I'm not sure for other people. But most sa mga narinig ko, sa mga friends ko, ganun yung nangyari sa kanila. Initial interview from the Philippines and then for the final interview, they need to come here in Singapore physically to do the interview. So that's for when you are still in the Philippines. The second option applying directly here in Singapore is you will come here as a tourist. So ito yung option na I can say a bit risky. Kasi it's a bit risky kasi first and foremost, once you go sa immigration pa lang, alam naman natin, baka ma-offload ka. If the immigration officer found out na you will come here to Singapore not for a holiday but for work, for you to look for a work. So, ayun yung isang risk kung bakit I also don't recommend coming here in Singapore na maghanap ng work. But it depends. I mean, for some people, it really works na nakahanap sila when they come here in Singapore for a month. Usually kasi for the tourist, if you will come here, you are eligible to stay here for 30 days. So, you can come here for 30 days and look for a job. And, yun, yun yung direct. Ipaprocess na rin ng company mismo yung mga documents mo if you manage to find a job here in Singapore. The next one is through an agency. So, agency, madami ding, madami ring options if agency. Kasi agency is, it's either you find an agency in the Philippines or an agency that is here in Singapore. So, for the agency in the Philippines, that one is really, um, masasabi kong pinaka-safe, best na move if you will come here in Singapore. But of course, please do check the agency sa POEA para alam nyo na it's a legit um, agency because for agencies as we all know it comes with a placement fee usually for the placement fees mga twice or thrice of your salary but it's worth it naman mababawi nyo din naman yun but for me you need to double check first in POEA if the agency that is processing your application and yung babayaran yun agency is legit so in terms also pala sa agency in the Philippines the reason being why twice or thrice yung parang charge or the placement fee is because they have an may partner sila dito sa Singapore that's that's why paghati and nila yon agency in the Philippines and agency in the in here in Singapore and then another option is agency that is really based here in Singapore so it's either the agency here in Singapore will look for a job for you based on your experience or based on your profession. And once mahanap, mahanapan nila kay ng job, then magbabay din kay ng placement fee. So, another one in terms of agency dito mismo sa Singapore is the company um, will pay. The company will pay the... Uh, agency itself to look for a manpower or a candidate for them. So, yung company yung magbabayad sa kanila. Those are some of the options that I know for direct and for agency. So, it depends naman sa inyo guys kung ano yung preferred nyo. <laughs> kung ano yung preferred nyo. I mean, it really depends din kasi sa luck natin. Some really... Uh, got lucky when they are still in the Philippines. Nag-apply sila sa Job Street or sa Jobs DB. Ininterview sila doon and nahanap, naka, na-approve sila and pumunta na lang sila dito but it's directly hired by the company. Next one that I'll be sharing is yung mga job sites where you can apply a job while well, maybe you're still in the Philippines, uh, planning to come here to Singapore maybe in the next three months. Pwede na kayo mag-apply-apply. Maybe two months or a month before you come here, you can submit an application already through these sites or job sites that I'll be sharing with you. So the first one, as you all know, Job Street. Job Street is very well-known siya. I think even in the Philippines, um, it's one of the well-known job sites. 
once you go to job street you can just change your country to singapore and you will find a lot of job postings that is suitable to your profession or kuanuman yung experience no and then the next one is linkedin linkedin is also very helpful next is indeed glassdoor and jobs db i mean yun lang yun yung mga mostly naririnig ko from my friends where they managed to find a job and for me personally ako nakahanap ako in linkedin i found a job via linkedin sa current job ko ngayon yeah that's it guys i hope this video helps you um get a better understanding or for your reference how you can find a job here in singapore i mean these are all purely based on my experience sa mga narinig ko din, to my friends sa mga nabasa ko actually for this topic it's very broad madaming pwedeng pag-usapan on this specific um information or on this specific criteria on how you can find a job and then in terms of sa mga steps then um, yung mga pag-process ng documents, ano yung mga kailangan, paano yung process, how many weeks will it take, that one, I can also do a separate video. Just leave a comment down below kung ano man yung mga questions nyo or concerns para I can do a separate video as well on your questions. And I hope this video helps and I can't wait to see you here in Singapore, guys. Just pray and have faith makakakuha din kayo ng job here in Singapore. If may mga nakalimutan man akong banggitin, feel free to comment down below para I can also answer some of your concerns or your questions. And I'm not really an expert. You know, I'm not an agency dito sa Singapore. Hindi ako ano, agent dito sa Singapore. But I, I'm just sharing sa inyo para, you know, you can also find a job here in Singapore. Of course, I also wanted to help you guys and hopefully to see you here in Singapore. So, see you on my next video. Bye-bye!